Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Omani Yadoye. I want to welcome you to this episode of Medical Tips on Ogungo TV. You're welcome. Today, I want to talk about high blood pressure. High blood pressure, that's hypertension, in other words. Hypertension or elevated blood pressure is a serious medical condition that significantly increases the risk of heart, brain, uh, kidney and other diseases in the body. As a matter of fact, uh, hypertension is responsible significantly for uh, premature death worldwide. What is hypertension? What is blood pressure? Okay, blood pressure is the force exerted by the circulating blood on the arterial wall. Of course, you know that the blood vessels are like a pipe through which blood flows. The pressure with which this blood is flowing and the pressure that is exerted on the pipe, that is the blood vessel, when they flow, is the blood pressure. Blood pressure is recorded as an improper fraction, uh, one at the top, one below. Okay, two figures are needed. One is the systolic uh, value, and the other is the diastolic value. The systolic value is the is the pressure that is recorded when the heart is contracting, when the heart is beating, and the diastolic value, which is the value recorded when the heart is at rest. Uh, it is recorded in millimeter mercury. The 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 equipment for recording blood pressure, of course, is um, SFIG no manometer. SFIG no manometer. The normal blood pressure um, is between um, systolic value of 90 to 130 millimeter mercury, and that of the diastole is between 60 to 90 millimeter mercury. So, in other words, I'm saying that uh, uh, the lowest value can be 90 over 60 to 130 over 90 millimeter mercury. Any blood pressure that is above 130 over 90 is above normal. Though, between 130 and 140, we say it's high normal. But there is high blood pressure, there is hypertension when systolic value of more than 140 millimeter mercury is recorded on two occasions. The two different days. That is, normal blood pressure can be between 90 to 130 over 60 to 90 millimeter mercury. Any blood pressure that is recorded above 140 over 90 millimeter mercury on two occasions can be said to be hypertensive. Hypertension is a silent killer. Because most people with hypertension don't know they have it. Sometimes it comes without warning sign, without symptoms. And for this reason, it is essential that blood pressure be measured. So, when it comes with symptoms, symptoms can range from early morning headache. Most times, this headache occurs at the back of the head. Apart from this, there can be no bleeding, regular heart rhythm, there can be vision changes, there can be fatigue, nausea, vomiting, chest pain, anxiety, confusion, muscle tremor. All these can come as symptoms. Right? The only way to detect hypertension is to um, have a health professional measure your blood pressure and the having blood pressure uh, measured is a quick and painless uh, process. First of all, let us talk about the risk factors. The, the, the risk factors are factors that uh, predispose an individual to having a potential. It can be grouped into two, modified and the non-modified risk factors. Uh, modifiable in the sense that uh, there are factors that can be prevented uh, 
non-modifiable in the sense that you can't you can't prevent um, that factor. The modifiable risk factors include or help the diet. For example, if you consume excessive salt, so diet that is high in saturated fat, low fruit and vegetable intake, physical inactivity, people who uh, people need sedentary lifestyle, you don't move. You are at home, you are sitting all through, uh, you want to do something you call people to do it for you, you leave your house in your car, you come to your office, then you sit throughout. No exercise whatsoever. Okay, consumption of alcohol and tobacco. Being overweight, predisposed to hypertension. The non modifiable factors include the um, history of hypertension, meaning that if you have anybody. Uh, in your family that is hypertensive, especially if your father or your mother or your sister or your brother, then you are predisposed to having hypertension. Age over 65 years uh, is a risk factor for hypertension. Co-existing diseases like diabetes, like kidney disease, people with co-existing disease can have hypertension. It's a risk factor. And um, now let's discuss the complications. Well, among other complications, hypertension can cause serious damage to the heart. Excessive pressure can harden blood vessels to the artery. It can decrease the flow of blood and oxygen to the heart. This elevated blood pressure and the reduced flow can cause the following problems. Number one. Chest pain. Chest pain, we call it angina. It happens when there is a reduction in the flow of blood to the chest and the muscle level. And the, the, the chest wall will not have enough oxygen, it will not have enough um, glucose. There can be chest pain. So if you notice that you're having recurrent chest pain and you cannot explain, check it out. Number two, heart attack. Heart attack is a serious problem. Uh, it occurs when the blood supply to the heart is blocked and then the heart muscle cells die from lack of oxygen. You see, the longer the blood flow is blocked, the greater the damage to the heart. Number three, heart failure. Heart failure and heart attack, they are different from each other. Heart failure occurs when the heart can no longer pump enough blood and oxygen to the vital organs of the body. Okay, the vital organs like um, the brain, like um, the kidneys, like all these organs. For example, uh, the, there is a particular quantity of blood they require and the heart is failing in that responsibility. It does not pump enough. So it's failing, it's failing. So that's heart failure. It comes with its own symptoms. Um, other complications include the irregular heartbeat, irregular heartbeat, and this can actually lead to sudden death. Hypertension can also burst or block arteries that supply blood and oxygen to the brain, causing a stroke. In addition to all this, hypertension can cause kidney damage. If you know that you are hypertensive and um, or you have risk factor for hypertension, I advise that you should reduce or manage mental stress. Okay, anytime you know you are under stress, please manage yourself well. Okay, um, regular checking of blood pressure is very very important in the management of hypertension. Of course. And if you check yourself well, you have an idea. Of, there may not be symptoms, but when you check well, um, you have an idea of when to quickly see your doctor or uh, relax at home. Hypertension can also burst or block arteries that supply blood and oxygen to the brain, causing a stroke. Uh, if you have high blood pressure, 
please do not self-medicate. Some people will say that, uh, ah, my friend has high blood pressure, my friend has hypertension, and he has a particular drug he's taking. That is what I want to take. No, don't self-medicate. Do not, do not prescribe for yourself. See an expert. Let your hypertension be treated. If you are treated well, you will not be afraid of complications. I want you to take this home. Health is wealth. Prevention is better than cure. I believe that this information is important. Please abide by it. I wish that you stay safe. I wish that you stay healthy. Till next time I will come again on Ogongo TV. This is Medica Tips. My name is Dr. Omoni Adui. I love you.